What is 792 feet long, 633 feet wide, and 208 feet high, has 115 drinking fountains, 86 restrooms, costs $25 million, and seats 65,000 rabid Dallas Cowboy football fans. You guessed it, Texas Stadium behind me. Today, Texas Stadium was open to the press and to some of the public for the first time. Though it's a far piece from completion, they hope it will be by August 14th. I talked with Texas Stadium General Manager Bert Rose about the exciting new cowboy home. Well, we are, Jerry. Uh, based on present construction estimates, we expect to be in Texas Stadium for our first game on August 14th. How is the sale of a season bond bondholders coming along? Very, very steady. Uh, we're, in terms of tickets, it represents about 22,000, and in terms of dollars, about 14 million. I understand you have a new plan for potential uh, buyers of bonds at this moment. Yes, we have submitted a new plan, new financing plan, to the Irving City Council for approval. Uh, where we would have a $6 down payment and $6 a month. Uh, we feel that this brings the bonds uh, within everyone's uh, financial range, and uh, we want to broaden the base and make NFL football available to all. How are your parking facilities, both getting in and parking and getting out of Texas Stadium? Well, we'll have 15,000 paved parking spots uh, divided into two color-coded areas, blue and red. The blue area is the area immediately surrounding the stadium, and that will be for bondholders only. Uh, then the balance of the parking will be for individual game purchasers. All parking will be $2 uh, per game. As far as ingress and egress is concerned, uh, until we have a little experience, it's difficult to say. But uh, like anything else, uh, we know that our traffic flow will improve as people learn how to use our road system. By now, everyone is familiar with the number of uh, drinking fountains, 115 and restrooms, 86, and quite a few concession areas, too, correct? Yes, we have 84 food service locations. Uh, we don't think anyone will go hungry or thirsty in the stadium. How about the heating on cold days, Bert? Uh, the heating uh, is a thing in the future. The stands have been wired for radiant heating, and that's a definite add for future years. I don't think there's another stadium in the nation that has that feature. However, um, because of our roof and the general enclosed feeling in the stadium, I think it'll be a good deal warmer than an open stadium would be. Would you then, um, as president of Texas Stadium, state unequivocally that this is the best $25 million bargain around for a football facility? It's an NFL champion. Glenn Mergerson today told the press that because they want Texas Stadium to be the very best, the addition of acoustical material to the roof of the stadium might prevent the Cowboys from being ready for their August 14th opener in the Salesmanship Club game which makes you know that once it is ready, and if you'll knock on wood, it could be August 14th, behind me, Texas Stadium will be the finest football stadium in the country. This is Jerry Haynes for Channel 8 Sports.